Hello students, this is a 1.10 problem, uh, first chapter and 10th question of IE Rodo. And the question is two bodies were thrown simultaneously from the same point, one is straight upward and the other at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal. The initial velocity of each body is equal to 25 meter per second. Neglecting the air drive, find the distance between the bodies of 1.7 second. Then first understand the diagram of the question. Let this is the point from where the bodies are thrown. Bodies were thrown, the first body is thrown vertically upward in this manner. And the second is thrown at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal. So its direction of uh, traveling will be like this. We have to find the distance between the position of first and second body after 1.7 second. It means our target is to calculate this distance. Uh, we have to obtain the value of x. This is x and we have to calculate this. So we uh, should use the vector method to solve this problem. Uh, the use of ijk, you can understand the use of ijk uh, makes this question simple. Let uh, this is the uh, starting point from where the body uh, uh, were thrown. Uh, for the body uh, moving vertically upward, Velocity is 25 meter per second. So distance covered by this body in 1.7 second is given by the formula H1 equal to U 1.7 UT. It is a U uh, 1.7 and the direction is J minus half and uh, gravity is uh, 9.8. Suppose it is G. It is minus half G and time 1.7 second square. This is also J. So height traveled by the first particle in this much time, h1, will be given by, in vectorial form, this h1 will be 25 ut, and this j is for u, it is 25j, minus for the opposite direction of gravity, half g t square, and j represents the direction. So total height covered by this particle in 1.7 second is 25, uh, 7, it is 175, 25 into 25, 17, 42, it is... 42.5 j minus uh, 2.89 by 2 g j. So this is the height traveled by first particle in time 1.7 second. Now for second particle who is moving at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal height covered yet yeah, or position you can also say the position of second particle is given by the equation s equal to u u will be 25 cos 60 i plus 25 sin 60 j and t is 1.7 this is ut the velocity of second particle is 25 but it is making an angle 60 degree with x-axis so its component are 25 cos 60 25 sin 60 so position of this particle after 1.7 second will be ut minus half g is gravity and time is 1.7 second square this is minus g the h1 height covered by first particle or you can say position of first particle position of first particle is 42.5 j minus 2.89 by 2 g j and position of second particle s is ut this u is obtained by taking 60 degree as its angle and 25 its velocity 25 cos 60 25 sin 60 25 cos 60i plus 25 sin 60j into 1.7 minus half g 1.7 square and on solving this will become it is 1 by 2 it is 25 by 2i plus 25 root 3 by 2j into 1.7 minus 2.89 by 2g j so this is position of second particle this is position of first particle and for finding the distance between these two we should use the distance formula in this problem. So, uh, position of this particle in vectorial form is this, and position of this particle in vectorial form is this. So, uh, if this point is x and this point is y, so xy vector will be, xy vector will be the position of y minus position of x. It means this minus this. It is 25 by 2i plus 25 root 3 by 2j multiplied to 1.7 minus 2.89 by 2 g j and minus this minus 42.5 j and on changing sign it is plus 2.89 by 2 g j cancelling the term of gravity 
you will get 25 by 2 i into 1.7 it is 25 into 1.7 is 42.5 by 2 i 42.5 by 2 i plus it is 42.5 root 3 by 2 j minus 42.5 j so 42.5 is common in all the terms you can take 2 in the denominator and 2 in multiplication also so 42.5 by 2 is a common term 42.5 by 2 is a common term and taking this term common you will get i plus root 3 j minus 2 j so this is the expression for x y I'm solving this you will get 2 to j 4 to 1 j 2.2 by 21.25 and i 2 and it is 1.732 so 2 minus root 3 j it is on taking minus common it is 2 minus root 3 j so for finding the distance uh, uh, you should take modulus of that if you take mod of this you will get the answer so it is 21.25 and mod of i minus 2 minus root 3 j now uh, modulus may say solve current yeah 2 minus root 3 or decimal will like solve current you will get the answer it is i minus 2 minus root 3 we got also the answer two bodies were thrown simultaneously from the same point one is straight up and another at an angle 60 to the other until the initial velocity of each body is equal to 25 find the distance between after 1.7 second so ye baat pehle aapko clear kare ki galileo's equations basically vector form mein created hai to hum jab chahe usko ij format mein taiyar kar sakte hain jo particle upward move kar raha hai vertically uske liye distance h1 height is ut minus half gt square so solving this you will get this this is the height h1 of the first particle and for second particle position of second particle s is equal to ut since second particle is moving at an angle 60 to x axis so its velocity in vectorial form will be 25 cos 60 i and 25 sin 60 j so it is 25 cos 60 i plus 25 sin 60 j into time 1.7 second minus half gt square j on solving this this will be this this is the position of second particle y this is the position of first particle x so for calculating x y you should subtract this by this so on subtracting you will get this and finally we will obtain this 21.25 i 1 i minus 2 minus root 3 j now take modulus of that you know that modulus can be obtained by taking squares of all the terms and then taking under root in it so under root 1 square plus 2 minus root 3 whole square so solve this and you get the answer this will be the distance between the two particles after 1.7 seconds